heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people Hello and welcome to another 3ABN Today program. We are so glad that you have joined us today. I'm Greg Morricone and this is my wonderful wife sitting next to me, Jill. And I don't know how your day is going. I know here at 3ABN it's going very well. And I can say that with confidence because Jesus Christ is Lord of our lives. He is leading this ministry. Mm -hmm. And we just want to say a great big thank you for your prayers and financial support of the ministry of 3ABN. Because it's those of you that are donating on a monthly, weekly basis, yearly basis. Some people give us a large donation maybe once a year, but some of you are consistently supporting this ministry monthly. We say thank you. And why is that important? Well, it helps to spread the gospel around the world. And I think that's neat, isn't it? Because we're part of a team. We're obviously teamed up with Jesus Christ, who is Lord of our life, and He's the one that's directing this ministry. But it's because of you and your support of this ministry that it is continuing to go around the world. Now today, we have, sweetheart, a really exciting testimony. If we could say love story. That's right. It's kind of interesting before we came on here today. Uh, I'm going to go and say his name, Jason, the husband. He was saying, you know, I had a whole like five year plan figured out. Well, they got <laughs> married quicker than five years. And she said, what did she say? I was never planning on being married. So this is amazing <laughs> what God has done in their lives and what a powerful testimony. I still consider you and I newlyweds, though we've been married now, well, it's a while. I don't know. It depends on when this airs, but it'll be 16, 16 years, years this yeah. year. <laughs> They've just been married months, but it's neat to see yeah. the glow on their faces, not only because they're in love with each other, but they're in love with Jesus Christ. Yeah. So who do we have with us today? I'm excited about this program because I think we all like a love story. But yes. to me, the key is a love story that's rooted and grounded in the love of Jesus that's Christ. That's right. And they're going to share with us how they met, their journey, their mm. experience, as well as the the uh, pivotal part that yes. prayer played in their entire journey. So we're going to learn all about that. So we want to introduce to you our special guests. We have Jason and Natanya Vanderlaan, and we are so Good glad job. to have both of you here. Thank you. We're glad to be here. So where's home for you right now? Uh, so we're living in Burlington, Vermont. Okay. Okay. Kind of cool neck of the woods. Yeah, a little bit colder <laughs> up there. <laughs> And you actually have a ministry that's entitled Upward Movement Ministries, and you're actually a pastor, Pastor yes. Jason. Yeah. So you're a pastor. You're not a pastor now, but obviously you're a, a pastor in, I think you said Philadelphia? Is that yeah, right? I was pastoring in Philadelphia at the Reach Philadelphia Church. Before you got married? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, before we met. And uh, then I moved up after we got married to uh, Burlington, yes. and we've been um, just living life and doing our own our ministries there as well. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they're on a really neat tour too, aren't they? You're on a love tour, is that yes, right? Yes, we are. We're on a love tour. So, <laughs> what, what is a love tour, Natanya? So the term had been coined some time ago, but it really has been an extension of what God has given us. When we decided we wanted to get married, um, we knew that even in our wedding, that ministry would be a cornerstone in that. So as we were yeah. doing the planning and going through even the invitations, we thought, how can we minister mm -hmm. in this? And so mm. the love tour was kind of a way to open the doors to invite absolutely everybody, because you understand, you can't have everyone at your <laughs> yeah. wedding, no, right? That's right. <laughs> but we've created this idea where we've traveled actually um, internationally and in the United States to share our love with our friends, our family, and now with anyone who has an open ear. Because as you said, it, it is a love story, but more importantly to us, it's a power of prayer story. Yeah. And it really embodies this, the spiritual discipline of mm -hmm. testimony mm. as a wow. practice, yeah. Amen, that's incredible. Oh, so, so tell us, Greg had mentioned this mm. briefly, you were thinking, Natanya, I'm not even gonna get married, I'm gonna do ministry. So what ministry were you involved in before you met Jason? So I've done a lot of public health work. 
okay. um, which kind of evolved into population health work, and I was doing storytelling, oh, wow. working very closely with people, um, doing empowerment um, with women and underprivileged uh, minorities, and um, mm. yeah, I was doing a lot of really interesting work in Boston, and I was hoping to do that one day internationally. I didn't know how God would grow like my work, but I knew that I loved to work on a very close and interpersonal level with people. Mm -hmm. And so I thought I'd continue to do that work. I love to travel. I have a really broad circle of friends and family, and I was perfectly content, you yeah. know? Yes. I, I didn't really feel like there was need for anything, but God knew, and, and my mom knew mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> that there was more to the story. Mm -hmm. So I have to praise, praise him for that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amen. Already whetting our appetite, right? <laughs> this is going to be a great yeah, testimony again of what God Amen. is has done and is doing in their lives. Wow. And I know we have a scripture that you'd like to share before we go to the music. Absolutely. And this is a scripture that I know is mm -hmm. pivotal in you all's Amen. relationship. And at, to be honest, at 3ABN, this has been a cornerstone of 3ABN from the beginning. Danny Shelton always mm. quotes this at the end of the Today program. Mm. I'm in Ephesians chapter 3, yes. verses 20 and 21. Now to him who was able to do exceedingly abundantly Amen. above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ to all generations forever and ever. Amen. 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 Well, why is that scripture, before we go to the music, why is that significant or important for you all? We often pray scripture, and so this has been one that we've claimed aggressively. <laughs> uh, yeah. And God never fails to respond. Amen. Yeah. 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 And we just found in our experience of each other and in the prayer experience we've had together that it's so much more than we could have ever imagined oh or asked for. So much more. And it's just been, yes. you know, our, our cup is overflowing with His blessings. Even yeah. now. Yeah. Amen. The key is just to surrender everything to Jesus Christ, isn't it? And yeah. He takes it from there because He knows what is best for each one of us. We have some special music today by a great friend, friend of the ministry of 3ABN, Mary Grace, mm -hmm. and she's going to be bringing a song to us today entitled, Lord Be Glorified.
Amen. Thank you so much, Mary Grace. What a great song too, Lord be glorified. And I know that's what I want in my own life. And I hope yours at home too. You're saying, Lord, I just rededicate my life to you. Lord, be glorified in my life. You know, one of the things that we're going to touch on to today as well is that, you know, we all have a testimony. Yes, we're hearing from the Vanderlaans today and what God is doing in their life. But, you know, we all have a testimony that we can share with others because if we allow God to do something in our life, He's glad to do it. I think I just have to surrender. We all have to surrender our lives to Jesus Christ. So who do we have with us in case someone's just joining us now at home? We have Pastor Jason mm -hmm. and Natanya Vanderlaan with us, and you're going to be sharing your incredible story, That's your right. testimony of how God brought you together in marriage and in ministry, mm -hmm. and how that song is really, it's perfect it for is, this interview because God is being glorified mm -hmm. in your lives yes. together. So let's begin with how you met. Okay. I don't know who wants to pick that up first. Yeah, uh, I can start. So the great thing about our testimony is that it, prayer is just interwoven okay. through all Throughout. of it. Good. And you know, the, the points we want to share about prayer come directly from our story of coming mm. together that we've learned, you know, in the presence of God yeah. in prayer, we've gained perspective. We can see as God sees, we can have uh, perseverance, trust in God's ways. And we can also partner with God, which is just Ooh. how it all culminates together. It's really like exciting. That. So say that one more time. That yeah, the number of P's. Perspective. Yeah, the three P's. Perspective, yeah. perspective Par perseverance, perseverance, and partnership. partnership. Amen. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. really great. And uh, so perspective is definitely where it all started. Um, so it was two Christmases ago, I think, mm -hmm. and I was preparing a sermon. And I was just looking at how when Jesus came to this world, mm -hmm. people have been waiting and praying for him for a long time. But when he came, almost nobody knew yeah. that it had happened. It's true. Like the answer to everybody's prayers was already set in motion. Mm -hmm. And yet most people thought God still wasn't hearing their prayers. Yeah. Yes. And I was feeling that in my own life. Like I was really discouraged and feeling like, man, a lot of my prayers, I feel like they're just not seeing the results that I wanted at that time. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people can feel that way. Were you praying for a wife at this time or was that not included in your prayer life? For it that? was included, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was one of those <laughs> prayers that you're saying, God, I'm not seeing results. I'm yeah. Not seeing an answer. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it was definitely one of them. There was more, but just a lot of, of feeling like waiting for a breakthrough, you know, waiting yes. for that to happen. Mm. Yeah, because marriage is a very critical thing, you know, as far as in a ministry, you know, you're a yeah. pastor and mm. uh, yeah, you want to marry the right person. Yeah. Because otherwise life could be horrible. Yeah, you know, for if sure. You, if you rush ahead and just, I want to do this my own way. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And I never could have, you know, I was definitely praying for like the right person for me. But yes. Also wanting someone that was going to be like a life ministry Amen. partner mm -hmm. that like we could do everything in ministry mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And um, that was really important to me. So I was, I was praying for that. And I didn't even know that a month before I was writing the sermon, I had just met Natanya. Oh. And... I didn't even, it wasn't on my radar that this was the answer to my prayers. Oh. Yeah, it was. And so it was really interesting that I was writing about this in a message and God was fulfilling it in my life, even though I didn't know it. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So you actually met a month before you were writing this sermon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where did right. you meet the first time? Yeah, so we met uh, in New Hampshire at a counseling uh, mm. training seminar. So what's really interesting about that is the year prior to that, um, Jennifer Jill, who does the uh, multitude of counselors on 3ABN. She does. Mm -hmm. Great friend yes. of the ministry yeah. of 3ABN. Yeah. She was holding um, that seminar in my backyard, basically, like five minutes from my house. <laughs> wow. And I was like so Incredible. excited about it. I wanted to like learn more about counseling and how to do that as a ministry. Mm -hmm. And so I was set to go to it. And at the last minute, something came up uh, with the students I was working with. And I had to be with them and I couldn't go. Okay. I just felt really discouraged, you know, like, mm -hmm. man, this was like a great opportunity and why didn't God let this happen? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, sometimes it's those prayers that God says no to yes. that end up being the greatest blessings. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because a year later, she's like, oh, I'm doing the seminar again. And I was like, great. She's like, this time it's in New Hampshire, six hours away. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little yeah. more yeah. inconvenient. That's yes. not as, as further away it's from not home. not your backyard. Yeah, no. no longer. <laughs> but I felt like a really strong calling to, to go to it and to be a part of it. So. I was planning to go, and then, so it was a, a Friday and Saturday seminar. Thursday night, I was going into a board meeting right before that, and my car battery died. Oh, no. Aww. And I was thinking, you know, it's a late church board meeting. You know how those go. They can be really long sometimes. 
And by the time it's over, everything's going to be closed. Mm -hmm. I won't get a battery till the next morning. I'm going to miss half the seminar. In my mind, I said, I'm not even going to go. I'm done. And uh, right as I'm walking into that board meeting, my friend Mario Bravo comes out. And I just mentioned to him what's going on. He's like, I'm going to go to the store right now, buy you a battery, and, and get it to you. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so by the time I was out of the meeting, I already had a battery wow. yeah, from my car. And God provided in ways that I didn't even know how great that was going to be. And so, so I left the good. next morning. Yeah, the six hour drive. Yep, did the six hour drive. <laughs> yes. Uh, made mm -hmm. it up there. I was just really enjoying uh, the material and like felt like I was growing. And I went down for dinner that evening and suddenly there's this beautiful woman mm -hmm. who's uh, standing there and I'm like, wow, this is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's how I met her. Mm. I think it's funny, Jennifer Jill always jokes that we both met in the line of duty. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's really beautiful and ties in with our point that when we are praying, God works in ways we would have never even perceived. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it, prayer is not a magic button that we press, but when we are in the presence of God, rather, mm -hmm. we can't help but be changed. Yeah. Amen. There's always change in God's presence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So what was your first impression and, and why were you at the, at the seminar there, Natanya? So I was actually helping host the seminar. Okay. okay. It was at my home church and um, my mother and I had invited Jennifer Jill and we were collaborating um, with the local church and women's ministries okay. to have her come out. She'd done several um, seminars for us by that point and we worked very closely together. And so I was very excited and I remember I was also working a lot that time of year. And so I, I wasn't there for the former, the beginning part of the training. Mm. I came in the evening just to check in and make sure everything was running smoothly. And yeah, I met Jason and it's, it's funny because um, as wonderful church folk do, several <laughs> people said, you know, there's this really nice young gentleman here you should meet. And I, I never really thought anything of it. Yeah. I thought he was a great young man, um, mm -hmm. a very um, well-rounded, mm -hmm. you know, Christian gentleman. And I thought he'd be a great friend. And so I made sure that he was um, meeting all the other young people and made sure everybody was fed and taken care of. And I, I kind of went on with whatever we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we like to say that we think God was smiling really big yeah. Yeah. when we met <laughs> Just her wait. we had yeah. no idea. Yeah. You know, I, was, I obviously yeah. thought she was a wonderful um, yeah, young course. lady, mm -hmm. but, you know, I was living in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. She was just about to go to school in Vermont, mm -hmm. and we had a lot of differences in our, our backgrounds and perspectives, yeah. and uh, we just, I don't know, we, we, we enjoyed the connection, but we didn't see a future. Mm -hmm. And so we, we parted ways after that weekend. We exchanged yeah. contact, yeah. but really we just, you know, we texted once in a while. Yes. So then a month later, you're working on this sermon. This yep. is a month after you met mm -hmm. now, and later. you're working on this sermon and saying, God, why aren't these prayers being answered? And he yep. said, I'm already working. I know. Oh. Yep. That's yeah. amazing. So when did he drop in your heart that she's the one that you need to pursue? Yeah. So... I guess in January, beginning of January, um, you know, we were starting to text a little bit more and I called her a couple of times. And um, so we started talking, but it was really this prayer book that we Ooh. came across that really sparked things. And God is so funny the way he works. As I mentioned prior, I had a mother that was praying, I had friends mm. and family that were praying. Um, I was given a book three years prior. Um, it was entitled Draw the Circle by Mark Baderson. Mm. And I've done lots of facilitation and workshops. And at that point, I think I was doing a prayer retreat, um, a prayer conference for the, mm. I think the Northeastern Women's Conference. Okay. Um, and I did a talk on prayer for the weekend. And several women came and there was one woman in particular who said, you know, I feel really impressed to give you this book. Mm. It's mm really changed my life. It's a prayer challenge. You should do it with someone. I was very grateful and I, I took it to heart. But as you know, life can get very busy. Oh yeah, that's for sure. And so I got home mm -hmm. and it ended up on the coffee table and then I moved and it ended up in a box and another mm -hmm. box. And here we are three years later, I see it on the floor of a friend's bedroom, not my book, but she had the same book. I said, oh, you know, I have the same book, we should do it together. And I thought it was a sign. I said, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is what's supposed to happen with this yeah. book. God saved it for this time. And for several months, we just couldn't 
meet. You know, um, she was doing something, I was doing something, and even over the phone, like it just didn't work out till finally she said, you know what, I don't think I'll be able to do the book with you. And I remember I was frustrated and I said, Lord, I know it might seem small, but when you feel an impression on your heart, I said, who would you like me to do this book with? And clear as day, I remember I was in my car and got to do it with Jason. Oh, wow. And. Um, my response was, <laughs> of course, we lecture God sometimes. Mm -hmm, Father, do. that would be irresponsible because I've already friend zoned him. I'm not interested in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't be responsible to sure. go into such mm. an involved exercise. And that was the end. That evening, Jason called me, and this was maybe the second or third time he'd, third time he'd ever called me. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, you know, I have a few questions about prayer. I know you do a lot of work around prayer. Mm -hmm. And this was the first time we talked about prayer. And I said, you know what? This is a sign. Wow. And so I said, you know what, Jason? There's this incredible book. I think you should get it and do it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> did you tell him that? I did. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh, feeling uh, a little off. I yeah. was still digging my yeah, heels. Say, and no, I'm you know, not. You know, God mm. is so good. Yeah, he man. just kept working with me. And I <laughs> felt a little guilty. <laughs> And I called him. I called him the next day. I said, you know what? I have the book that I told you about. If you'd like to do it together, I, w I would like to do it with you. Mm. Mm. And as she's saying this, I'm on my phone getting on Amazon Prime. <laughs> two-day shipping. Yes. Or yeah. getting the book. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it was funny because, you know, I thought the book sounded a little gimmicky, you know, like 40 days of prayer that will change your life, like, instantly. You know, I was like, I think it's a little more complicated than that. But I really wanted to talk to her, yeah. and she really wanted to do the book. And so God used, you know, those motivations mm -hmm. to bring us together into yeah. that space. Mm. And, and I also want to just put out there, mm -hmm. I don't think that there was anything incredible about the book itself. In the same way I said, like, prayer is not a magic button mm -hmm. that we press. But this was a tool that we were able to utilize to come much closer together and to God. Yeah. 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 So we started doing the book and we were planning, we were thinking, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes each morning. Yeah. And within the first week that had turned into an hour or oh, two wow. hours of praying together and discussing wow. things. Over the phone. Yeah, yeah. over the mm -hmm. phone. So you'd read the book together and then mm -hmm. pray together over whatever the, the yeah. questions were? Yeah, and, and it was two, three pages. Okay. Mm. Yep. Not a huge commitment, but God was really working on our hearts and we were having to rearrange our schedules because we were praying together, but we were also praying, you know, privately. We were yeah, having our course. own prayer time that really informed this practice that we were growing into. Wow. Yeah. So when in your heart did you start realizing like, oh, wow, <laughs> this lady is really special or... Well, it's funny you asked that question. Okay. Or maybe Natanya knew first. Yeah, I mean, that's right. Like, hey, I don't know. Yeah. What happened next? So God moved us in tandem. I think Jason had wow. a hint before I did. A little bit. <laughs> right? So day five. Okay. Of the prayer book. <laughs> of the day prayer five book. of the prayer book. Okay. So not day even a week. Not even a week. <laughs> you had wanted to pray about our relationship, yeah. right? There's, mm. there's different themes on each day, and it was talking about praying boldly, mm. and not that you force God's hand or anything, but being really honest and open with God about the desires of your heart. Yeah. And so at the end of each time, we would talk about, you know, what do you want to pray about today yeah. uh, in regards to this? And I was thinking in my mind, I want to pray that this relationship, you yeah. know, develops into something. And I was like, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> it was like five <laughs> days in, yeah. that's too soon. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, kind of like stalling and trying to think. And she was just like, oh, just, just pray, just pray it out loud when you're ready. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so like we started praying and I'm trying to like figure out what am I actually going to pray about? Yeah. Because, you know, I still want to be genuine. Course, yeah. And this happened so many times mm -hmm. in our experience that yeah. the Spirit would just give us words to say Amen. and pray through us. It and so, intended. yeah, then wow. definitely not intended because I was figuring out a way not to pray about it. And then I find myself praying, praying about out it. loud mm. that, you know, that I really value this relationship that's developing, that I want to see it grow. Yeah. And so then I pray that and I'm just like, ah, okay. <laughs> so you. Prayed it out loud. She yeah. heard it on the other end of the line. And what did you think when you heard that? Well, what was funny is I prayed before him because I had gotten a okay. little impatient. And my intention <laughs> was to pray for, you know, run-of-the-mill things. I had my list. We all have our grocery list. Mm -hmm. And as I started praying, exactly what he expressed happened where I hear myself claiming him 
boldly as mine. I know. Jason. Jason. I claim, claim Jason as yours as mine in, in my prayer. Mm. Yes. And I was mortified. <laughs> you know, after he prayed and he prayed, you know, about us and a very thorough and more reasonable prayer, I was <laughs> <laughs> But I got off the phone. I was so embarrassed. I couldn't even talk to him for the rest of the day. I was like, I didn't text him, I didn't call him. I was just like, <laughs> Lord, what did I say? But you know, it was the Holy Spirit at the same time. Like I was mm. a little embarrassed, but I was at peace. Mm. I knew that God was working out something greater mm. than us. Yes. And and that's really I think where Wow. perspective comes in. Mm -hmm. He was transforming our perspective right. by the power of His Holy Spirit. And, and we were perfectly okay with it. Yeah. So you're asking when we, when we knew, yes. it was, we literally fell in love in prayer. That's like powerful. During that prayer is when those walls that we had broke down yeah. and we could see what God saw. Because we, like, we had our whole list of reasons why this wasn't going to work, mm -hmm. why it wouldn't, we weren't the right match for each other. Just like a few days, the beginning of the week, I was telling my best friend, like, yeah, she's nice, but nothing's going to happen. And then like a week later, I'm like, I think I'm going to marry her. <laughs> Did you really say that? Wow. And so Isn't it was something? just this, this transformation of perspective mm. in our minds mm. uh, where we saw. And as we kept going, you know, every day was a further revelation of what God was wanting yes. and what he saw in us. Yeah. And so we more and more we saw as he saw, Definitely. and we were just excited. It's like, wow, we really are perfect for each other. <laughs> so as you prayed together, mm. God changed your perspective, mm -hmm. your perspective and how you looked at each other That's and incredible. whether you wanted a future relationship yeah. or even to get married and all of that. And God changed your five year plan. Yes. <laughs> said, it can be a little shorter, my son. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I very distinctly remember, you know, as she lectured God, so did I. I was like, but what about the plan? What about this mm. methodical, thought out plan? And he was like, I'm going with Natanya. This is the, the direction we're going. Do you want to come with us? I was like, yes. <laughs> I wow. gave up my, my plan. Because, you know, sometimes the, the expected is, is not what God wants. And he wants the unexpected to yeah. surprise us with joy and to do, as the verse said, immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine. Exceeding abundantly mm. That's right. above anything we could ask or think. You know, it's so amazing because the 40 days ended on his birthday. We didn't plan oh. it that way. Mm. And I had planned to visit him four days after. Yeah, so we had visited a couple times. Okay, yeah. during this 40 days. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but I, I show up and he proposes. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah four days after the 40 day prayer challenge. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the rest is history. We got married a few months later. Wow. And uh, we haven't looked back. Wow. And God has been so good. I can truly say exceedingly abundantly mm. above anything we could have asked or thought or Amen. even imagined. Amen. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's perspective. Yeah. Let's move into perseverance. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Talk to us about that and the prayers of other people along the journey. Mm -hmm. So we had tons of family, friends, mm. church members who've been praying us, praying for us for years, mm. and uh, about many things. But you know. They want to do their matchmaking and, and see us happily married, which is, <laughs> yeah. is fine. We want, oh, yeah. want that too. And yeah. So for me, it was especially um, my mom had yeah. done a lot of praying uh, for me. You know, yeah. ever since I was born, she was praying for me and for my mm -hmm. wife. So she was praying for Natanya long before she ever knew she existed. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. And um, yeah. so for us, it, it was a very rapid process, like when it actually started unfolding. Mm -hmm. But it was the culmination of years of many people praying. Yeah. Mm. and just trusting that God would do something. And uh, my mom has a friend at her school, uh, her name is Shawanda, and they were praying together for me for like 10 years to find a wife. Mm. And I never even met Shawanda until after the wedding, but she was just so mm. dedicated to praying yeah. for another person that her friend cared about that she's prayed for me like every day for 10, 10 years. years. Yeah. And it's, it's just mm -hmm. learning to trust That's that deep. God's ways are what we can trust in his timing. You know, yeah. we might want it at a certain time or place, mm -hmm. but he knows the right moment when things can, mm -hmm. can be revealed yeah. and unfolded. And so it's really powerful to, to have people love you and pray for you that way. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's taught us to, you know, we see the results, the fruit of that mm -hmm. prayer. And so now when we're praying things that we don't see the outcome, 
right away. We can know, we can keep persevering and keep trusting amen, in God's way. Amen. Mm -hmm. You mentioned your mother too yeah, earlier that you know, uh, she was praying for you. Yeah, prior we spoke about praying boldly. That's right. Right? And sometimes God likes when we pray those bold prayers, even when we get a little crazy. <laughs> um, everybody who knows my mom knows that she's more reserved. She's okay. more of a behind the scenes person. You won't see her up front um, on the platform at church. Mm -hmm. And she's, she always makes it happen behind the scenes. And <laughs> She felt compelled one evening, I was out with her and one of my friends, to make a, a proclamation, a declaration wow. um, on my behalf. Mm. And so we're at a restaurant and my mom decided that it, it was necessary to get up on the table and make an announcement. Really? <laughs> so she stood up on the table. My dear pastor's wife, <laughs> yes. right? Who's rather reserved, you said, behind Very the scenes. Very reserved. Mm -hmm. And she gets up on the table and says, excuse me, everyone, I have an announcement to make. This is to the entire restaurant. To the entire restaurant. <laughs> and so you're there. And I'm there. And you're like, probably going to die and go underneath <laughs> the table. <laughs> I mean, I was so amused. I yeah. said, I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So this year, my daughter, is getting married. <laughs> Everyone started congratulating yeah. me and, you know, offering their best wishes. And I'm just laughing. This is hilarious. But after I said, you know, mom, you can't, you can't just say stuff like that. You know, I'm not even dating or interested in dating anyone. She looked at me and she said, no, that was not like a fib mm. or a joke. That was prophecy. Mm. And I looked at her and I said, yes, yes, of course, sure. But literally, hmm. two days to a year later, I had to invite my friends to the same restaurant to celebrate because Jason had just proposed. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> yes. You know, and mm. again, I want to stress, you know, prayer is not a magic button. Mm -mm. There's no formula or thing that we can say or do, but God is pleased mm. when we come before his throne boldly. Yeah. Mm. And I think that he honored my mother's wish that mm. day for she too had been praying for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the young man that you would marry? That was one of her prayers, I'm yes, sure. Yes, yes, definitely. Wow. She was mm. praying that God would have someone very special mm. for me. Mm. Yeah. So I can just imagine then the joy that they must have then as uh, they've prayed, you know, many, many years and then to see what God has done. Yeah. Yes. Uh, praise the Lord. To this day, my father is in disbelief. He's, he's a pastor. <laughs> yes. And I remember when I first told him, um, I, I'm, I'm in love with Jason. I think I'm going to marry him. <clears throat> he was on his way out of the car, putting on his suit jacket to go up on the platform. Mm. <laughs> he, he paused. I was on speakerphone. He said, can we talk about this another time? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because he was still using as an example in his sermons, like the point that I told him that marriage is just a question of picking your poison. Mm. I, I was convinced that, you know, life has its responsibilities and, you know, it, it's, that's it. That's it. It's difficult and it can work and it'll be better for some and worse for others. But that's oh, what wow. it had come to for me. Wow. And um, so you weren't even, I had not grasped mm -hmm. that before. I was thinking you just thought, okay, I'll, you know, serve God single. I'll be in ministry. But you were actually anti-marriage. I mean, I wouldn't say anti-marriage, okay. but I wasn't interested in it for me. Wow. <laughs> mm. okay. Incredible. Yeah. Wow. So it's it's really a miracle, which is why my yeah. dad in disbelief, because that, that really made him very sad. You know, he and my mom have been married very happily for over 30 mm -hmm. years. And yes. um, he, he wanted what was best for me. Mm -hmm. And so that really troubled his spirit. And mm -hmm. so even to now, he says, you know, I never imagined there'd be anyone so perfect mm -hmm. and well suited for you because you're, you're kind of unique. <laughs> yeah. But that's neat, though, you know, because God brings us all together and then he's put your marriage together as a ministry yeah. and that's what you're doing. I want to just go back to the perseverance because mm -hmm. one thing that stuck out to me was like when your battery was dead, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, like, okay, this could be a sign from God. I'm not going to go to this. You know, it's just interesting how God worked all these things mm -hmm. out. He brought that friend there and said, hey, I'll go to town and get the battery for you. Mm -hmm. I think many times in, you know, all of our experiences, perseverance is a key because God yeah. wants us to press yes. into his presence to come boldly before him. Yes. Ask things. You said be crazy, so to speak, yeah. but just ask yeah. things, God, this is this is what I'm wanting or yeah. this is what I think is best. But at the same time, it comes down to surrender, doesn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. totally. Because many times I pray these prayers to God and then I want them answered a certain way. So I'm almost telling God, okay, I want you to answer this way, this way, this way, this way. I'm going to, like you said, yeah. you were mm -hmm. going to be married in what, five years? Or you had a five-year plan. Yeah, yeah. I really don't think marriage is best for me. Yeah. But then, okay, things are happening 
and you're like, wow, God, okay, and you're going with those leading, and I think yeah. that's powerful. But I like the perseverance part, though, going back to yeah, that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It definitely would have been very easy for e either of us to short circuit that mm, process yes, in the beginning yes. if yes. we had insisted on our own vision, yes. and our own plan. Yes. But yeah, trusting that perseverance of oh, God's yeah. ways. And being surrendered to God, I think yep. is great. Yeah. So then you guys then uh, got married, you're, uh, somehow you decided to form a ministry then together too. Do you want to hit upon that right now? Yeah, okay. and that goes very well into our next step, which yes. is partnering with yes. God, right? So perspective, um, perseverance, perseverance. <laughs> yep, and then uh, and then partnering, and partnering. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and and you know they all work together, they do. right? Because God, through the power of His Holy Spirit, is able to change the way we see the world. Mm -hmm. We're able to see through His eyes, mm -hmm. and that gives us the trust, right? That enables us to persevere through the obstacles. That affords us the great gift of partnering with yes, God. Yes, I know. Wow. You know? And what a privilege. Yeah, you know, wow. ministry mm -hmm. has been such an integral part of both of our lives. Mm -hmm. And so it was very natural for us coming together to minister together. Mm -hmm. yes. I knew if I ever was with someone, it would be for ministry and it would be in ministry. Mm -hmm. And he was praying for exactly the same thing. Well, we're and really so Yes. So, because you, you're a pastor, mm -hmm. and so yeah. you're thinking someone to come aside, beside you in the church mm -hmm. and minister there in the church. Yeah, right. yeah, definitely. Yeah. And wow. to be more than just, you know, like a, a cultural yes. Adventist, um, but that yeah. wanted 24 7. Be involved. Yeah, yeah. like even after we started praying for a while together, you know, there was a conversation we had where we wanted to bring prayer into every conversation that we had, mm -hmm. to pray about every decision we were making, to pray yeah. about yeah. everything, and just to invite God's presence. And yeah, that for me was like a really big sign, like this is what I've always been wanting yes. mm -hmm. and haven't really been able to find, someone yeah. who's committed to prayer, not just as an act, but as a way of being and doing like a whole... A life discipline. Life experience. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah well said. Yes. Mm. So how soon after you got married did you begin the love tour? The love tour actually began before we got married. Be before, okay. Our first love tour was in New Hampshire. Um, it was several months after we'd been engaged. And um, we got married in Vermont. My hometown is New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And so two and a half hours away, but I wanted to involve and engage all of my church family. Yes. If you can imagine through the years, um, my father's a pastor and we've known and loved so many people, far too many people to invite to a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so we had our first love tour prior to the wedding in New Hampshire. And that was really um, the kickoff. Yeah. So what is a love tour? We talked about it at the very beginning, mm -hmm. but if yeah. someone has joined yeah. us part way through, what is a love tour? I know you talk about there's like music tours that people do. So yeah. would this be similar or what yeah. in, what's involved? So we, we started off with the idea we wanted to go to different cities where we had a large group of people mm -hmm. that we knew especially because we got married so fast, yeah. a lot of our friends didn't get a chance yeah. to meet the others. Mm -hmm. And so we go to a, a city, usually at a church or something, uh, invite a bunch of our friends, and they usually yeah. invite a bunch of other people, mm -hmm. and we share our story. Uh, we share how God brought us together. And a lot of times we also involve, you know, inductive Bible study mm. or uh, prayer workshops or, you know, yeah. invite people into deeper yeah. prayer experiences. Yeah. And really gives, create space for people to interact with each other, Excellent. and to connect with God. And always food. Yes. Mm -hmm. We love to have a reception. It's an engaging experience. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, don't you think people connect over that? Oh, totally. Over, fellowship. over mm -hmm. food and people connect yeah. over prayer as yeah. well. Totally. So if you're inviting totally. them into that prayer time and that prayer space, mm -hmm. that would connect as well. Definitely. Yeah. And what we always tell them is this is more than just our love story. This is a story about the power of prayer and how that can really transform your experience yeah. when you put yourself in God's presence mm -hmm. like that. Yes. Yeah. And so that's what we've been doing with, with our love tours. We've gone all up and down the East Coast and uh, we just did one in Indiana on our way mm -hmm. over here. And wow. we last weekend we did one in Paris. Wow. Yeah. Uh, France, Paris, France. That was really yeah. fun to do with... Uh, her dad and mom are over there doing ministry uh, with Upward Movement Ministry. Okay. And uh, so we're working with them a lot to help coordinate things and make things mm. work for us. It's been really a blessing partnering with their work mm -hmm. and allowing God to let it grow mm. as He sees fit mm. and uh, using the love tour to share um, his, his message. So who would be invited to a love tour? Is it only newly married or those that are thinking <laughs> about getting married? Absolutely anybody, everybody, mm. young and yeah. old, friends, family, 
those that have just been married, those that have been married 30 years, 50 those years. Those who have never been never married. Never been married, yes. Yeah. Mm. So is it a whole weekend? No, but I think that's a great idea. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you could do like a retreat at a church or something. Totally, mm. totally. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've mm. done seminars and workshops, but the love tours have usually been similar to like a reception. Oh, um, okay. We'll do it either in an evening or sometimes a Sabbath morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's usually just like a several hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Yeah. So you'll share your testimony. You said yes. you'll share your testimony and then there'll be some food mm -hmm. that's involved, some yeah. time of prayer. Yeah. And I think that's really great because uh, prayer is definitely an important mm -hmm. aspect and should be in all Amen. of our lives. And I Amen. think this is just an incredible thing. They're not only talking about what God has done in their lives, bringing them together, them being involved in ministry, but it's also a call to prayer Amen. And, uh, Amen. and the power of prayer. And I think about their mothers mm -hmm. uh, praying for them. Other people, this one lady that was a friend of your mom's yeah. didn't even know you, never yeah. met. Yeah. but yet was praying for you. And I think, do you know that's powerful? Mm. I think you at home, we can all be involved because there are people right now that are viewing maybe this program have just flipped the channel, come across 3ABN and saying, what is this? <laughs> what, God, prayer, huh? Do you know, I think if you just bow your head and maybe we should actually have a prayer here during this program. Yes. I'd love that. But uh, just pray for the people that are searching mm. because God has people everywhere. And we don't know because we've met many of you and we mm. see you here on in yeah. this glass and this lens, but some of you we've never met, but God has a calling on each one of our lives. And I think, wow, that's mm. just a, a powerful thing. So yeah, we should have some prayer here for sure. Yeah. And talking about that, should we pray now? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Pastor, do that. would you like to lead us in prayer? And then yeah. uh, Natanya, if you would too. Sounds Great. Good. All right. Father, we're so grateful for an opportunity to give glory to your name yes. and to just share the story of how much you love us yes. and how dedicated you are to bringing about good in our lives that we can't even see or imagine sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I just ask that for everyone listening, that they may have their hearts open to a Amen. deeper sense of trust yes. and yeah. surrender in you to really find that we can have peace and just that assurance and confidence in your presence Amen. that you are working all things together for the good of those who love you mm, and are called you. according to your purpose. Mm -hmm. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, we're so grateful to be here in this space before your throne. Mm. We pray that you might speak to our hearts, that you might afford us exceedingly abundantly above anything we could ask or think that you might afford us to see as you see mm -hmm. and to trust, Lord, that you might walk us into paths overwhelming, Lord, that we might go out whichever avenue we're called with joy mm -hmm. and that we might know the abundance of your love. Mm. Thank you. This is our prayer. Amen. 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 Wow. Beautiful. Just want to encourage Amen. you at home that if you have never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, mm -hmm. today is the day of salvation. That's right. Accept mm -hmm. him into mm -hmm. your heart. Spend that time in his word and in mm -hmm. prayer. Mm -hmm. And if you have made Jesus the Lord mm -hmm. of your life, spend time interceding with your mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, yes. time interceding for the needs of other people as well. What an incredible testimony here today mm -hmm. to hear how prayer worked in such a powerful way in your lives and how you really fell in love with each other as you were praying. Mm -hmm. That's just incredible. We want to move it toward the end of the program here to testimony. Yes. I know Revelation 12 says they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word yes. of their testimony. So talk to us about testimony and about um, some of the testimonies that you have mm. heard from people oh, whose yes. lives have been changed as a result of this. So we were so blessed um, by this 40 day experience mm -hmm. that we decided to make the book our wedding favor. Oh, and wow. so everyone who came, and, and that was a miracle in and of itself. We contacted the publishing house that can directly. Be kind of expensive too. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of books. And it, it was really a miracle that they just so happened to have overstock at the office because yeah. publishing wasn't really. Um, as flexible and she said I have a ton of copies if you want we can give you a really good deal yeah. and God works like, in mysterious yes. ways Amen. and so we were able to share this book and I, I have so many friends and family um, I have several cousins in my mind in particular who mm. read this book and told me how like God has influenced um, their their prayer life in a way that they've been able to grow in exceptional ways I know that you had mentioned a few testimonies that, that you might want to share as well. 
Mm. Yeah. Uh, so one of the great things is that we do see a lot of feedback and we can see the fruit of our testimony. Yes. But sometimes you don't always see that, those fr that fruit right away. True. So we were just traveling recently uh, in Morocco on our second honeymoon. Wow. First night there, walking back home, had my phone looking for directions. Two guys on a motorbike come by, swipe it right out of my hand. Oh, wow. And yeah. Your phone. phone. Yep, yeah. stole my phone right out. cell phone. Wow. And so we were running after them and realized they were not, not that fast. We can't <laughs> catch them. But Natanya immediately says, we need to pray about this. Mm -hmm. And so we pray and... and you know, we eventually meet these guys and they help us make a police report. And we want to, you know, have a, the end of the story where my phone came back. Yeah. But that's not the end of our story yet. Uh, we don't know what will happen with it. Mm -hmm. But what we do know is that one of the prayer practices we're committed to is praying for our enemies. And oh, praying well, for good. those people who may be causing us problems in our life. Excellent and point, actually. We don't think about that very often. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I like that. And one so of the things that has inspired us is this idea of praying for our enemies, those things that we desire for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So if someone's causing us a I lot of strife it. and conflict, mm -hmm. we pray for peace in their life. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know these two guys, uh, these two thieves that took the phone, but I'm sure they have not been prayed for as much <laughs> as they have in the last two weeks. Yeah. And just praying for them, whatever is stolen or lost in their life, that it may be returned to them. Mm. Mm. And maybe I'll never get my phone back, but I know that we're praying for them and there will be fruit in their life, whether we see it in this lifetime Amen. or in eternity. Wow, that's powerful. Really committed to that. And it, it was really powerful mm. hearing him pray this prayer sincerely over their lives. And to continue doing that, it affirms me yeah. to know that this is our, our practice now. This is the way we live our lives and it's changed our perspective mm -hmm. and it's afforded us um, a perseverance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, I believe that uh, prayer is an important uh, facet for the family. Mm. So, I mean, you know, Jill and I don't have any children. You all don't have any children, but, you know, we're family. You know, yeah, she and right. I are a family. You all are a family. Mm. And so Satan has a direct attack, I believe, on mm. the family. Mm. So why do you feel that prayer is important for the family? Because, you know, your husband and wife, why is prayer important? And why would you encourage someone else at home, uh, whether they're married, single, whatever, why would be prayer important for the family specifically? I think for me, prayer brings us into a space of unity mm. with God Good. and with each other. And it makes that really the top priority that we're committed yeah. to being together. Yeah. That's and good. Say that one more time. So you said it's a unity? Yeah. Or prayer brings, brings us, us into a place where we can mm. experience unity yeah. with each other and, and with God. God. Yeah. 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 And we found, especially mm. with us coming from very different backgrounds, mm -hmm. uh, racially, socially, mm -hmm. uh, culturally, even just our perspectives on marriage, you know, as you said, <laughs> we're yeah. very different. Mm -hmm. yeah. And having prayer bring us into a place where we can be committed to being unified with each other mm -hmm. has really transformed the way that we experience yeah. our relationship. And yeah. we really want in our ministry to, to pass that on to other couples and to small groups to church bodies. Mm. There's so much disunity mm. um, there is. in our yeah. world, in our church now. Mm -hmm. And we really find that prayer is that key Amen. which brings people together Amen. and unity amidst diversity. Amen. And that's really powerful. We know the Amen. Spirit can do that in our lives because He's doing yes. it and it can do it in other people's yes. lives Amen. too. Yeah. Yes. Well said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. What would you say to someone who's saying, I'm trying to pray, but my prayers are hitting the ceiling and I um, wow. don't feel like I'm experiencing a breakthrough. Um, I'm not getting anywhere mm -hmm. with that. What advice would you have for them? I would invite them to narrow their focus yeah. and simply seek God in His presence. Oh. Feel His presence yeah. and embrace that for what it is. Yeah. Amen. That's powerful it because is. many times we pray for things, mm -hmm. but in this case, mm -hmm. they're saying it's a person. Mm -hmm. Seek Jesus mm -hmm. and His presence, mm -hmm. and then all these things will be added unto exactly. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it goes back to because again, I like all these things, and I don't know if I've missed one, but you have perception, perseverance, and again, going back to the perseverance, like it feels like our prayers bouncing mm -hmm. off the ceiling, you know, or whatever. Yeah. But to keep yeah. pressing and saying, yeah. God, I'm going to bring it before you again. I'm here again. And the partnering. Yeah. part is uh, fantastic. You have here, which I think is kind of neat, we just, we're almost out of time, but uh, you have, uh, our, you know, your ministries in Burlington, Vermont, but you have our home as an oasis. Yeah. And I think that's beautiful because I know being in ministry, traveling, mm -hmm. you get so busy, mm. yeah. but it's good to have that yes. home 
This is our oasis yeah. place, yeah. and that's important so you guys don't get burned out. And not just for us, but also for ministry. Oh, okay. We've opened our home as an oasis for others. Oh, is okay. Yes. Oh, that's yes. beautiful. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, neat. It's a place that we find restoration, yes. and that just the spirit that we create there allows other people to come, and they notice it. You know, a lot of her friends have come over and oh. said, this place feels different. Yeah. Like, we feel peace here. Yeah, what a testimony. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's powerful. Amen. You know, isn't it neat to see what God does in each one of our yes. lives? Yes. And the testimony we've heard today from the Vanderlands mm -hmm. is what He wants to do in your life. That's you know, right. we're all not led in the same way, in mm -hmm. the same journey, but we all can spend time in prayer. Yeah. We all can ha experience restored relationships. Yeah. We all can experience that healing, that transformation, and God mm -hmm. can bring people yeah. into our mm -hmm. lives like He did with you both. Thank you for sharing your testimony. Right. What we want to do right now, we want to go to uh, contact information mm -hmm. for the Vanderlands. This is their website, their email address, their phone number, if you would like to contact yeah. them for yourself. If you have prayer needs, if you would like them to come to your church or your community um, as part of the Love Tour, or if you would be interested. Financially support them. I'm just going to add you. that in there maybe okay. in case you feel impressed to do that. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a support ministry. Support what God That's is doing right. and this incredible prayer prayer ministry. Here is their contact information. Mom. If you've been blessed by Jason and Natanya's testimony and would like to support them financially, you can do so in a variety of ways. You may visit their website, upwardmovementministries.com. That's upwardmovementministries.com. Or you may contact them by telephone at 603-264- 8019. Excellent information, and again, if you didn't get time to write down their contact information, you can always call 3ABN at 618-627-4651, and we'd be really happy to provide that to you. Mm -hmm. Now in about the next minute and 15 seconds, is there anything in closing? Jason, let's start with you that you may have for our folks at home. Yeah, um, I just want to really encourage you that whatever you might be experiencing with God, whether it's uncertainty or disappointment, that you can really trust in His love for you because uh, that's what he's been committed to before you even existed. Mm. And you can really trust him even if you can't see his hand working, mm. just as it was in our relationship. Amen. He was working behind the scenes and he's doing the same for you. Amen. Amen. Well mm -hmm. said. You know, and then Revelation 12, 11, it said they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Mm -hmm. We have put in a lot of time and love as influenced mm -hmm. by the Holy Spirit to share our testimony because we believe that there's a lot of power in that. But there's also so much power in your testimony. Amen. Mm -hmm. Every wow. single person has a story. God has graced your life and he's helped you here to, to watch mm -hmm. this show. Mm -hmm. And we pray that you might share that. Mm. that you might encourage those who are around about you and that God might be with you. Amen. Amen. Wow, well said, Thank both you of you. Thank you so much, Amen. Jason and Natanya, for coming to 3ABN, for sharing your story. But it's really God's story. Amen. Yes. What He's been yes, doing amen. in your lives. Amen. And know that we will be praying for you thank as you, you continue your journey and sharing that with yes. other people. Amen. And we thank you at home so much for joining us. We consider you a part of the 3ABN family. Right. And know that we encourage you every day to share the testimony of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done in your life. Share that with someone else. And by doing that, you will be encouraged yourself. Amen. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>